Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priyanka Mehta. I am a gynecologist from Chennai. I am here to talk to you about the basic tests during pregnancy. So once the pregnancy card becomes positive, which most of the patients nowadays know how to do it themselves, the next is what next? Should I meet the gynecologist now or should I wait for 12 weeks or 3 months or 2 months? So the best thing to do once you get a urine pregnancy test positive is please meet your gynecologist or find a new one who will direct you to do certain blood tests which are essential during pregnancy for the good health of yours and your babies. So what are the tests that we need to do? The first thing that we advise is to do a urine routine and sometimes a urine culture test to rule out any kind of urinary tract infection. These blood tests that we recommend and most of these societies also recommend are the complete blood count in which we find out the level of your hemoglobin that is to rule out anemia and also your platelet count which sometimes can decrease during pregnancy. The next important blood test which is done is the blood grouping and the blood typing that is if you are a negative uh, group mother then sometimes your baby the first one or the second one can be at risk if your partner is positive and the baby is also positive so we need to ascertain your blood group in the initial time booking of pregnancy and also to know your blood group in case we need to give you a blood transfusion during your delivery or pregnancy the third important test is the sugar testing so nowadays we do a fasting blood sugar or an HbA1c along with it which gives us the sugar levels uh, over the past three months and for some patients we do the 75 grams GTT whereby we do the test in fasting we give 75 grams of glucose and then we do after one hour and two hour this can vary depending on the place and the high risk that you have a next important test is the thyroid test which is the TSH and the FT4 and so we find out if you have hypo or hyperthyroidism because that can also affect the outcome of your pregnancy we do infection screen routinely for all pregnant mothers which includes the HIV testing, the HPSAG or the jaundice testing and also in certain places we do the anti-HCV blood testing. After these tests are done, we are going to start you on folic acid which you need to take continuously for the first three months at least because folic acid is an essential B vitamin but sometimes it is not taken in adequate quantity because it is the source of folic acid is a lot of um, green vegetables and raw vegetables and we don't take it in adequate amount so the requirement is 400 micrograms daily especially in the first 12 weeks because folic acid prevents certain uh, neural tube defects or certain other deformities in the baby so even when you're planning a pregnancy it is advisable to take it one month in advance Ideally, we don't give any vaccines in pregnancy, but during the flu season, it is recommended that all mothers, either at 16 weeks or 20 weeks, take one shot of the flu vaccine. So please ask your healthcare provider about the same. We also give two tetanus injections during pregnancy. One is given at 16 weeks and the other at 20. In certain setups, we even give the first injection at 12 weeks and the second one is four to six weeks after that. Scans in pregnancy, there are four important scans. The first scan which is done is the dating scan done between seven and eight weeks. This is done to know the heartbeat, the location of the baby, how everything is. Second scan is done between 12 and 13 weeks, which is combined with the blood test to know the combined risk for any genetic syndromes and also about generally how the baby is. Third scan is done uh, at 18 to 22 weeks this is called the anatomy or the anomaly scan and here again we find out how the baby is and if the different organs how are they formed and generally how the baby is going to be the final scan is done after 28 weeks it could be done at 32 to 34 weeks also or nearing when you're delivering that is to know the growth of the baby the level of the water and how the uh, placenta is functioning if there is need, we sometimes do even the Doppler test of the blood vessel which supplies blood to the baby, which is to find out how much blood is going to the baby and how the things are. In case you have a twin pregnancy, you will be asked to do scans more frequently, sometimes every two to four weeks because only then we get to know how your baby is. 
Similarly, if the baby is growing less, which is called a growth restriction, or is growing more, that is a macrosomia, you may need to do more frequent scans. So happy pregnancy, enjoy your pregnancy. Once you see the urine pregnancy test positive, and do like and share our video and let's update you on more.